believe it or not, scientists still aren't exactly sure what causes lightning. The leading theory is that ice crystals formed inside storm clouds slam into each other and build up an electrical charge. Lighter, positively charged particles form at the top of the cloud and heavier, negatively charged particles sink to the bottom. When the positive and negative charges grow large enough, a giant spark or lightning occurs between the two charges within the cloud. Most lightning never leaves the clouds and only travels between differently charged areas. But sometimes, a positive charge builds up on the ground beneath the cloud and that spark is drawn downwards towards it. A typical cloud-to-ground lightning bolt begins when a step-like series of negative charges, called a step leader, races downward from the bottom of a storm cloud towards the Earth at nearly 300,000 kilometers per hour. When the lowermost step comes within range of a positively charged object, it is met by a climbing surge of positive electricity called a streamer, which can rise up through a building, a pylon, or even a person. When the two connect, the circuit is complete. An electrical current flows as negative charges fly downwards towards Earth, and a visible flash of lightning streaks upward, sending a surge of electricity back up along the leader's path at almost 100 million kilometers per hour, transferring electricity with such power that it can exceed the output of a nuclear reactor and is more than five times hotter than the surface of the sun. So how does this intense force of nature affect the human body? What happens when you are struck by lightning. The irrational fear of lightning is known as coronaphobia, but it almost seems rational. Worldwide, the odds of being struck by lightning are around one in 300,000, which doesn't sound that scary. But that means that in your lifetime, the odds could be as high as one in 4,000, which suddenly sounds a lot scarier. And it also means that you're more than twice as likely to be struck by lightning than being injured by a toilet. Lightning strikes the earth around 100 times every second. And globally, about 2,000 people die each year, which means that it's more than likely that someone has died from being struck by lightning whilst you're watching this video. Humans are great conductors. Being comprised of atoms that can transmit electrons is fantastic for your neural network's basic functionality, but it's really annoying when you become a human lightning rod. And although a lightning strike only lasts around three milliseconds, a lot can happen in that time when you've got hundreds of millions of volts of electricity surging through your flesh. It all starts with an intense flash of light as the 30,000 degrees Celsius lightning bolt ionizes the air, turning it into plasma, so bright that it can leave you temporarily blind. Not only that, the heated air expands so rapidly that it causes a shock wave that creates that booming sound that we know as thunder. And up close, it can quite easily burst your eardrums. In the same moment, electricity enters and exits your body. Although, maybe not quite how you might imagine. You see, the first thing to understand when we think about an electric shock is that nothing is actually going through you. Many people visualize electricity as this substance like water that travels through the body during an electric shock, but this isn't quite right. You see, when you get electrocuted, it's actually the electrons inside you that are moving, creating a current. Imagine you're an open-ended tube of Smarties, completely full to the brim. Now, if you push a Smartie in the top, it's going to force one out the bottom. And that's precisely what happens inside you when you get electrocuted. Only with electrons, not Smarties. As the current passes through your body, it meets resistance in the form of your flesh. And just like a resistor in a circuit, 
it creates heat. Heat that can cause third degree burns, completely destroying all the layers of your skin, including hair follicles and sweat glands, and often leave permanent tissue and nerve damage. It can also cause lightning bolt shaped burns called Lichtenberg figures. And although they look pretty cool, they're actually caused by bursting blood vessels, which is, well, you know, less cool. However, because they trace the path that the electricity takes, they can be really useful in determining the exact cause of death. For example, whether the victim's brain was fried first or whether it was actually their heart that has stopped beating. The heat and force can also singe and shred clothing, and lightning strikes have actually blown people clear out of their shoes. Tragic, but kind of funny. And if you're an aspiring rapper or Pat Butcher lookalike, then you definitely want to stay clear of storm clouds, as any metal jewellery like bracelets, necklaces, massive earrings or Prince Alberts can cause electrical arcing, which superheats the metal and will burn you even more. But burns and burst blood vessels are the least of your worries. When it comes to electrocution, the real killer is directly linked to the way our bodies operate. Your body is made up of about 37 trillion cells, and each one of those cells has an electrical charge and uses tiny electrical pulses to communicate with other cells in the body and brain. However, this means that the signals they send and their basic operation can be disrupted and even permanently stopped by a huge jolt of electricity. This causes muscles to violently spasm all at once, sending you flying, quite literally. But most dangerously, this can cause the heart to beat irregularly or fibrillate, which can lead to a heart attack and death. And if you recognize that word fibrillate, that might be because it's also in defibrillator. Those pads that doctors use to shock your heart and get it going at its proper rhythm again. Of course, damage isn't just limited to the cells in your heart and muscles. Brain functionality can also be altered as electrical signals are disrupted. And the heat that's generated from the electricity surging through your brain tissue can literally cook it. You'll probably lose consciousness for a few minutes, but could be plunged into a coma lasting days or even years. And when you eventually wake up, you might experience memory loss or amnesia, and in the long term, victims have suffered personality changes, learning disabilities, sleep disorders, seizures, and Parkinsonism, a condition that causes Parkinson's disease like twitches. Now, of course, not all of these things will definitely happen if you get struck by lightning. There are many variables to consider. For example, how exactly you get struck. In the worst case, it's a direct strike. But there is also side flash strikes, where lightning strikes a nearby object and some of the electricity jumps to you, or ground strikes, where the electricity passes through the earth to you. It also depends on the route the electricity takes through your body. Lightning striking your head would probably be much worse for your brain than a strike on, say, a limb, and current flowing only through the skin and muscle will cause much less damage than if it travels through your internal organs. So I'd say that how you're struck is really just down to luck. Although, if you've been struck by lightning at all, then I'd say that luck probably isn't really on your side. So, have you ever been struck by lightning, or even electrocuted? And if so, what happened and how did it feel? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I've been Dom, and you've been watching Everything.